the NDP would just really, really, really appreciate it if you people out there in rural Alberta would just shut up about the carbon tax, okay? The carbon tax is hitting rural school boards, especially hard since rural Alberta runs on the school bus and some boards like the Battle River School Board and Elk Island Catholic School Board are finally speaking up. Battle River puts 11,000 kilometers on their school buses each and every single day. And they say this year they expect to see $107,000 in extra expenses because of the carbon tax, with 41,000 of those related directly to transportation costs. That's just for the remainder of the school year. Elk Island Catholic will see $82,000 in increased costs this year and $143,000 next year because of the carbon tax. And that money has to come from somewhere. Either Alberta students will do with less, or Albertans will pay more taxes, or higher busing fees, or higher school fees. But that bill, it has to be paid somehow. Taxpayers know this stuff. The NDP, though, not so much. The local newspaper in Camrose, the Camrose Canadian, reached out to their NDP MLA, a former teacher, in fact, some lucky recipient of the MLA election lottery named Bruce Hinckley. And he proceeded to scold his residents for wanting to keep their own money in their pockets, and he scolded the school boards for wanting to spend money on other things other than busing, while showing us at the same time how little he understands economic forces. It was a weird socialist tirade. I'll read some of it for you. He said, In the last three weeks of December, transportation gas went from 88 cents at the pump up to $1.11. It increased over 26 cents, and I didn't hear one complaint or one protest or one school district financial officer say, we can't handle 26 cents. And why aren't those gas companies and gas stations reducing it, he said. However, we implemented the carbon pricing and it went up 4.5 cents. And the pressure of that 4.5 cents is going to cost them hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm not sure how, if they can't handle a 4.5 cents increase, how are they handling a 26 cent increase from industry? Spoken like a true communist. It sounds like the NDP, well, they've had it with your belly aching, rural Alberta. They just want you to shut up and quit complaining because it's getting annoying for them. Bruce Hinckley, well, he can afford to pay more for gas. Why can't you? Even though Bruce Hinckley doesn't understand, most normal people know about market fluctuations in the price of oil and gas. The price goes up, the price goes down. If you ever wondered why the NDP can't budget their way out of a wet paper bag, Bruce Hinckley's statement is why. He doesn't understand the difference between government taxes and market prices. So Bruce, I know you're probably watching Let Me Help You because not only do you not understand simple economics, but you just don't understand Albertans. What people don't like is when no matter if the price is up or if the price is down, our gas is still always more expensive because the government made it that way. Albertans don't like paying more for things because the government thinks added taxes change the weather because when you say it out loud like I just did right now, it sounds pretty crazy. And people don't like when the government tells them to pipe down, shut up, and quit complaining when the government takes even more money from their families' pockets for bad reasons. Bruce Hinckley might think rural Alberta is cheap, a little simple-minded, and cantankerous, but at least they understand the price of gas at the pumps. And I know who needs to pipe down and shut up, but it certainly isn't rural Alberta. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreed. The carbon tax might be implemented, but we're not done fighting it. Go to stopthecarbontax.ca and sign our petition.